Welcome to page two of your Excel packet. We're going to continue to work with the coordinate plane. A plane is a flat surface, and the coordinate plane allows us to plot points on this flat surface. Let's just quickly label a few of the important things that must always be labeled before we begin to plot. We know our x-axis runs left and right, so please label this axis x. And our y-axis, well, that runs north and south. Please label this your y-axis. Let's darken a point to mark the origin, 0, 0. And let's remember, Every time we plot, we are given an ordered pair. X, please take down these notes, controls your movement left or right on the coordinate plane. And your Y value, your Y coordinate controls your movement up or down. And they're always given in that order. And let's label the quadrants. Quadrant 1, using a Roman numeral. Quadrant 2, using a Roman numeral and moving counterclockwise. Quadrant 3, and Quadrant 4. Please take a moment to label each quadrant and label your x-axis and your y-axis. Pause the video if you need just a little bit more time. Let's practice plotting just a few points. Remember how it's done. If I give you point K, if I tell you to move over negative 5, but up positive 13. Remember, we start our pencil point right at the origin and we move left 2, 3, 4, 5 over to negative 5. And then all the way up 1, 2, 3 to 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 right here. Remember, when we label our point, we label it with the capital letter and the ordered pair. Now that's a pretty easy point to label. Some of them are a bit trickier. For example, if I give you M and I tell you it is positive 4, meaning to the right 4, down 0. What that means is, placing your pencil point at the origin, you move over 4 to the right, but as far as moving up or down, you move 0. That point lives right on that x-axis, point M. Another tricky point sometimes to plot is where you're given a zero for the x-coordinate, but you're given a value for the y. Let's say negative six. Place your pencil point right at the origin again and move left or right zero units. You wouldn't make a move left or right, would you? However, because of the negative six down, you would travel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and right down here to negative 6, and letter N would be here. Well, I've given you some points to plot. Letters A through H. This will form a special shape. When you're done, you can connect the points in alphabetical order. Let's erase the points that we plotted earlier. 
Hopefully they're not too dark. And begin plotting the letters A through H. For those of you at home watching this video, you can find those points in your Google Classroom. They are posted in the Google Classroom for Excel. Or you can copy them off this page. Remember, as we take a look at the letter A, we see A is the ordered pair 8, 0, meaning go to the right 8, but as far as moving up and down, it's 0. You're going to be, for this particular point, right on the x-axis, and you're going to label that with an A. Because there's so many points, let's not put the label for the ordered pair. Let's just put the letter. Go ahead, plot your points, pause the video, and when you're completely done, let's compare your results to my results. Pause your video and plot letters A through H. You should have gotten a star-shaped figure like this. Now, this concludes the lesson for day one of Excel. Take your packet, put it away in your Excel folder. Make sure you have it for next week when we continue with the coordinate plane. This concludes the lesson for page two.